clothing. All of us wear it every day to keep warm, to look attractive, to keep from getting wet. There are many reasons why we have different kinds and styles of clothing. Some clothing identifies helpers in the community. There is clothing for activities, for safety on the job, and special clothing for different kinds of jobs. There is clothing for sports. Clothing for special occasions. Special events. And clothing just for fun. It is often who we are, where we are, and what we happen to be doing that determines what we choose to wear our great variety of kinds and styles of clothing. The clothes we wear today are made from many different materials. In pioneer days, however, people had to make clothing from materials that were readily available to them. Some adopted the ways of the Plains Indians. They hunted deer and used the skins to make durable clothing. So that's what they used to wear a long time ago. Yeah, feel that. Well, a very long time ago, some people actually wore leaves and grasses. Others tied and sewed animal skins together and wore them for protection. They decorated the things they wore with bones, shells, feathers, anything they found attractive. That was pretty much the extent of clothing people wore until someone found a way to weave cloth that could be sewn and would wear well. The Egyptians refined the weaving process. They invented the loom and raised flax to weave linen cloth, which was sturdy and light. In India, people grew cotton for their clothing. While in the Far East, the Chinese raised silkworms. The silk from the cocoons made fine, strong thread and cloth of even finer, lighter, and stronger quality than linen or cotton. Soon, people in Europe who wore leather, fur, and wool traded their heavier clothing for the lighter cloth from the East. Before long, wealthy people dressed in the finest clothes made of the most beautiful and costly materials. The growing demand for new clothing brought about new business. New, elaborate styles were designed to please the wealthy. Tailors set up shops to sew the elaborate clothing. Shoemakers fashioned leather into boots and belts to match. Even blacksmiths turned from shoeing horses and forging swords to making buckles and elaborate armor. Because of the great demand for elaborate clothing, European weavers found their own ways of producing fine new cloth. They found new ways of dyeing it with brilliant colors for the dazzling but not always comfortable styles demanded by those who could afford them. The early American settlers wore plain, sturdy clothing, often made of wool from sheep. For a long time, all the work had to be done by hand. Uh, they had a very hard time. To make cloth, the fibers had to be arranged evenly so that I can spin them into thread and yarn. Then, when I weave my cloth, the thread will be fairly uniform. This gives an even texture to the material. Clothing a family was slow, hard work. All this changed, however, with the invention of spinning machines, automatic looms, and the sewing machine. Spinning machines and automatic looms produced yarn and cloth much faster. Now, sewing machines could produce clothing in greater quantities and in far less time than ever before. People in
enjoyed wearing the new machine-made fashions, which made the latest styles easily available. Today, we have new styles and many new materials from which our clothes are made. We still wear many clothes made of natural fibers, like cotton and wool. But we have also learned to make new kinds of fibers by using many different raw materials. From wood pulp, we make rayon. Crude oil can be made into orlon and acrylon. From coal, we can make fibers like nylon. At first, the raw materials are reduced to a powder and made into staple fibers. The fibers are carted and gathered to make thick, loose strands. These strands are spun into yarn and thread. To make cloth, thousands of threads are woven automatically on high-speed looms. Special machines dye the cloth or print it with colorful patterns. Some cloth is knitted. Knitting is different from weaving. The material it produces can stretch. To make clothing, special fabrics are chosen for each kind of garment. To mass produce blue jeans, denim is unrolled. Many layers of material are stacked and cut according to different patterns. The pieces that make up each pair of jeans are sewn together on a production line. Each person does one special job. The finished jeans are labeled and packaged for shipping to stores all over the country. At the store, shipments are received, unpacked, and checked. They are put on display so that we can choose the clothing we need and want from the great variety of kinds and styles available. Materials and styles of clothing change, but the basic need for clothing stays the same. Boy, am I glad I don't have to wear that kind of stuff today. Me too. Now, don't anybody move. <laughs>